Father God, I come boldly into the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace in the time of our needs. Father God, I'm going to pray for the United States of America and Israel and our enemies that are against the United States. Father God, you know what's going on in this world today. We have many hurting people out there, Father God. I'm out talking to the body of Christ out there. You that know the Lord, wake up in the name of Jesus. Get praying for the United States and Israel. The United States is turning her back on Israel. Get praying in the name of Jesus. Get on your knees and cry out to God for her on her behalf in the name of Jesus and on our behalf. And we have kicked Jesus out of the schools. We kicked him out of our homes. We kicked him out of everything. Wake up in the name of Jesus and call upon him And while it's time to be called. Don't be five of the five foolish virgins. The ten virgins, don't be the other five that did not have oil in their lamps. They just knew the name of Jesus, but they didn't use the name of Jesus. They didn't walk and talk with him 24-7. They played with Jesus when, for their convenience. I am talking to you atheists out there to say that there ain't a such thing as a God. You cannot look into a child's eyes. You cannot look into the beautiful sky. You cannot look at a gray glass. You cannot look at trees. You cannot look at lilacs. You cannot look at um, roses. You cannot look at the creations of animals of different, cre different beings and say it came from a blob or out of an explosion. You cannot say that. That is a lie. You did not come from no ape. You came from an image of God, who is our creator, who is holy and pure, and you will stand before him someday very soon. Each and every one of us have an opportunity and choice. God sends nobody to hell. You send yourself there, ma'am, sir, or child, or teenager. You send yourself to hell. God does not send you to hell. You choose it. A loving God would not send no one to hell. But you choose your destiny because it is your choice. He gives you a choice. Man has a choice on this earth to do what we want. We get up every day and we go to bed every day. We brush our teeth or we don't brush our teeth. We dress or we don't get dressed. We eat or we don't eat. That is our choice now, isn't it? Isn't it your choice to, to, um, to live or not to live? Don't you have that choice in your hand? You will stand before a living God and give an account for your eternal destination. I am telling you that Jesus died and he rose for you. No, you do not die and just go into the ground. No, and everything that God has ever created lives forever. There's a seed time and a harvest time. There's a spring time and there's a fall. You will live and you will die. You don't know your time or hour, what your hour class runs out. You don't know. Sir or ma'am, wake up in the name of Jesus. Because you are going to stand before a living God. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, who should believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Jesus loves you. You can be rolling, roll off your chair. That's all your prerogative. I, 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 that's none of my business. I plead the blood of every word I'm saying, and I'm speaking to those that God has prepared your heart to see the truth. The scales be taken off your eyes. And Jesus, I'm asking you to open their hearts to receive your truth. You atheists, you will not understand the word of God because the Bible is not uh, uh, the Bible is not understandable only through God's Holy Ghost, through His Word and His name. You cannot, you cannot understand the Word of God without God's Spirit. God died and He rose again the third day through His Son. Yes, Jesus took His body back. It is not in the ground rotting somewhere. Some of you have put out there, you atheists. You think it's a big joke. It's not a joke. I warn you, your blood is off my hands. You will stand before our holy God all by yourself. You choose heaven or hell. If you reject Jesus as the Lord Jesus Christ, you already choose your destiny. And, and hell is not a party place where you get to go down there and party. Hell is a place where it's called outer darkness, and you will spend that time all by yourself. You will hear other people's screams while these beings torment you day in and day out there is no time in eternity it is 24 7 so to speak in other words you never sleep and you will be tormented by these beings it is not a joke people have went on the other side to you out there to say oh we just go into the ground they didn't have no rush in their head and had no fantasies they literally were dead for hours some days and they have come back so it was that it, it was it was it's proven a fact, and you used to make fun of that young man that died, that went down in the plane crash, and then he saw heaven and hell. You better quit playing games in the name of Jesus. You will stand before God, and you're going to give an account, young man, young lady. You're going to give them an account. 
for your life. Your whole life is being recorded. La Korea sina na matare shi kriya tere shi kriya tare sina na matare shi kriya tare shi kriya tare shi kriya tere. Your eyes be open in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. No curses can come through this videos and on my me or my family and anybody that speaks anything that it will go back on the seven folds. But I prefer you to save their soul, Father God, in Jesus' name. Jesus, you died and you rose for each individual. You love them, Jesus. You gave your life for them, Jesus. And by your stripes they are healed, Jesus. You were out there crying out for someone to pray and agree with you. I agree that you receive your miracle. That God steps on your behalf in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus said that in the, in the end days men will be vow men will be vipers, lovers of their selves. And they don't care about nobody else but their self. What makes them feel good? What they want to do? And that's talking about women too. Wake up in the name of Jesus. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that He who shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Broad is the path that leads to destruction. In other words, there ain't many ways to God. There's one way. There's one door. It is through Jesus. He was a Jew, too. Hello? He's a Jew? From the line of, from the tribe of Judah, he is a Jew, and I say it again, a Jew, Jesus, that's what he is. He's not white, he's not black, he's not Indian, he's not Hispanic, he's not German, he's not Irish, he's not uh, Asian, he is a Jew. And he died and he rose for you. And I got another big news for you too. The Jews did not kill Jesus. He laid his life down free willingly for you. He knew what he had to do from the foundation of the earth. So why are you playing your games? I ask you, Father God, take the scales right now off their eyes. The fear of God be put in their hearts. The fear of God I speak across the airwaves in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for your time. And because there's only a little time you can put on this. So, Father God, in Jesus' name, open their eyes, and I claim their souls in Jesus' name. That, that the souls that you prepare that are hearing me, not everybody's going to listen, but God, those that, who will, thank you for their salvation. And Jesus loves you, and welcome into the kingdom of God. And he will give you wisdom and knowledge to know him and show you how to serve him. I want to thank you for your time, and Jesus is coming. Come unto me, all you, are laid, all you are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus says, I am the door that leads to the, to the path to God. I'm the only way you can get home. There ain't many paths. You in this new age movement, you're deceived. You're deceived. And you just going to after what Oprah Winfrey believes in? Oh, buddy, you better run. Hey, young lady, I don't know what's happened to that sweet thing. But I'm telling you what, what she and Shirley MacLaine them stand for? going to send you to eternal destination by yourself, separated from God. And I'm talking about you feel love on this earth. Down there, there is no love. And there is a hell. And you can roll and laugh all you want. Enjoy while you have time to enjoy. Because you're not promised of tomorrow. I am. Because I'm in eternity with Jesus. Your eternity is in outer darkness. Mine is on the streets of pure gold. With my Lord and Savior, who gave his life for me. And you the same. Scoff as you may, but he loves you. And now your blood is off my hands. Thank you for your time.